Hello, my name is Ryan Borden, aka Loopline. In this video, we're going to cover how to randomize a list. Now, this will work with a list of URLs, a list of emails, a list of keywords, a list of numbers, text, anything. It's a line by line grid. And we're going to look at three different ways that we can randomize here in Scrapebox depending on what you want to do. So, if I have a list of URLs here, and in the main scrape box window, probably, I'm just going to say simple, work with like a million URLs or less. Now you can work with 5, 10 million and that's fine, but it depends on your machine resources. This is built to be more visual or if you're already doing things, if you need to work with massive lists like 100 million lines, then we can do that with an add-on and we'll cover that in a moment. So let's go to export and I can just export and randomize this list and we're just going to go ahead and give it a name of random right i have 98 urls and we can see it starts with car logos and then a wikipedia c segment so if we go ahead and pop this open yet bring this over and i've got some other files in here we called it random and so we open it up and we can see walgreens and amazon are at the top when we had car logos and wikipedia now if i had just exported the list altogether, it would have kept them in order. And somewhere in here is, I don't know, it didn't stick them at the bottom. Somewhere in here is our Wikipedia URL. So like here's a Wikipedia URL for sports cars, and we can see that that's probably up here. And then um, the rest of them for the uh, car logos, I don't know where it is. Like, just find it. I guess that was probably not a good plan since it's a list of car stuff. And there it is, car logos start with C, car logos start with C, and it's somewhere in the middle of the list. And so another way we can do this is just go to more list tools and then randomize harvester URL list, and that just randomizes them in here. So if you're going to work with here and like export them to different places inside a scrape box, it's convenient. You can just randomize them right there. If you want to export them and randomize them, you can do that. Again, this works with numbers, and it's really great to see. So I'm just going to paste in a list of numbers here, and we are going to randomize harvester URLs. Again, it says harvester URLs because it's talking about this grid, but it works with anything. So we can see it's all random now and we can keep going and getting them in different orders and that sort of thing. So that's how we can randomize a list of anything in the grid or export them. And that works again for reasonable sized files. If we want to do something that's much larger, we can go to the dupe remove add-on. And again, if you don't have it, you can go to show available add-ons, find it in the list, click on it, install, and go back to add-ons. All add-ons are included at no additional cost with Scrapebox. Go to the dupe, oh, that's the wrong one. Dupe remove add-on, and we're just gonna get rid of that one. And here's the dupe remove add-on. Down here under randomized list, we can select a source file. I'm gonna get this list here. This is 100,000 URLs. I mean, this list right here is 7 million, and it'll work with that, but it's going to be hard for us to actually open that and see visually. But, it, you know, we can load in up to 180 million lines here. And it might work with more than 180 million lines, but you're going to need a monster machine for that. So um, if you have, again, it is going to be dependent on machine resources in general. But let's just do it so you can see it. And now let's select the target file, 100K random list. Now I'm going to hit randomize. And we're going to get the list done here. And so we have our first list, which we just loaded in, which is this one. I'll open it. And then we have our 100K random list. And we can put them side by side and see that this is the original. It starts, you can see it's kind of in uh, alphabetical kind of order here. And then we go here, it's obviously not in alphabetical order. And it's been randomized. So there might be various reasons you want to randomize things, keywords, email addresses, lists of URLs or numbers or anything you want but there's three ways in Scrapebox to do it in the grid if you want to see it and use it in Scrapebox if you want to export it you can do here for reasonable size files under the actual randomize and then the dupe remove add-on for larger lists and that's how you can randomize files if you don't have Scrapebox click the link up here now or go to scrapebox.com and you can roll down here and pick up your copy and if you miss it it's in the video description down below Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.